have a, it's been a long time. I think I've posted here and there, but yeah, it's just been a long time. I'm just checking in with everybody. I, well, before the pandemic hit, I had been dealing with multiple health issues and I just didn't feel like I had anything to give to anybody. And I really, the reason I started Instagram and my YouTube channel was to help others. I wanted to be able to help people that were dealing with maybe some chronic illness issues of their own and in the same part share anything that I have that I could share to help anybody type of thing but <laughs> I didn't feel like I had anything to give I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I was purposeful or helpful to anybody because I couldn't help myself I just before things shut down we had been preparing for a spring break with our son he was a he's a, was a senior last school year he's in college now anyway we were planning for all that we were heading on a cruise and I kept having <clears throat> excuse me I kept having multiple health issues and it was frustrating me and then COVID happened and then I was in the hospital during COVID not with COVID I did a whole video on that on my YouTube channel but Thankfully, I did not get COVID yet and don't plan to as long as I can have it within my powers to do everything to stay, keep myself safe. Well, one of the things that have been keeping me back besides having some health scares right before COVID started was um, I was actually hospitalized during COVID and I actually did a video um, on YouTube about that. I did not have COVID but I was in the hospital with an infection during the pandemic and therefore there was the same procedures going on with the masking and no visitors and how you got in and out of the hospital. But I shared all that in a video, it's on YouTube. You can find it on a link in my bio. But I am having another health thing today and I'll share that with you. I'm gonna show you a quick picture of what's going on. Look at that beauty. That's better, right? That's better looking. Nope. Okay, so this has been like a probably good part of the summer thing going on with me, with my foot. And I have, for those that don't know, I have uh, lupus, I have rheumatoid arthritis, I've had a kidney transplant, I have some other health crap going on, right? I've also been on steroids for 27 years and I have what's called avascular necrosis in several parts of my bones. Because I have that, basically what that means is that your bones die, which is, sounds terrible, but that's what happens. They don't get the adequate blood supply and they become necrotic. And then there's different surgical approaches to help. Some areas can be fixed and some can't. Well, I was concerned that was what's going on with my foot. It was a long process. Eventually, I finally got an MRI and that's not what's going on with my foot. I have something called type two accessory navicular syndrome with moderate bone marrow edema. Basically, I just have a really inflamed foot with an extra bone. And the doctor basically said if I was younger and healthier, he would do surgery, but I'm not. So I am supposed to be limiting my weight on it to allow it to heal. I've been in different braces that didn't work and now I'm in a walking cast. I'll have this for six to eight weeks and then I'll go into another brace. But So that's slowing me down a little bit, but it's not gonna stop me from enjoying this beautiful weather. So why am I rambling? Why am I on here rambling? Okay, so I started my YouTube channel as a way to connect with others that may have chronic illness or the same passions that I do for technology, photography, weight loss struggles, goals, planners, all the things, like all the things that I love, I just wanted to share with others. And in doing so, I watch a lot of videos. Um, I follow a lot of people with the same interests. And it's just a fun way to collaborate with others. And I kind of, I let that fall, I let that fail. So I've becoming rejuvenated. Of course, we're ending a beautiful fall season here in Michigan and it's a beautiful day. So I decided to get out and enjoy it. But this whole week I've been trying to prepare myself for how I can come back. How can I come back to Instagram? How can I come back on YouTube and how can I go back where I started, but maybe even better. How can I share what I'm passionate about and maybe help others along the way? So I'm doing some brainstorming of my own and I'm gonna be asking you if there's anything that you like to watch on YouTube or you follow on Instagram here, um, comment below. What do you like to see when you're watching videos? What would you like to see from me? What can I do to help you? 
Um, what are you passionate about? I can tell you a couple things, first of all. I am passionate about staying as healthy as I can. And I have to do that both mentally and physically with every health challenge I have. And that being said, I'm on the ever, the ever, the never ending roller coaster of trying to get stronger, get fit, and lose weight. It's the never ending journey. It's that roller coaster that keeps going around and I never seem to jump off of it. So I can tell you going forward, I'm gonna, I'm ramping up my, my plan once again for a healthy living um, with meal planning and activities and exercise um, and sharing my health along the way. I'm also really getting interested in some different technology. I am currently switching from Android to Mac products. So I'm working on that and just living life. Christmas is about to come approach us. Winter is coming here in Michigan. So, all right, I'm gonna keep rambling. Do me a big favor. Comment below what kind of videos you like to see. It is a beautiful fall day here in Northern Michigan. It is it is just beautiful and I had to get out and enjoy it because I know winter is approaching. Winter is upon us. We've already had a couple little bits of snowfall, nothing that stayed, but it's inevitable but it's gonna be getting colder and colder and I just wanted to get out and enjoy it. So I'm gonna share some clips here um, of some Jeep riding and just some scenic views that I had to get out of the house for. So I'll share those now. I'm gonna back up with my hobble leg here. Bear with me. Um, this is Daisy. I chose a two-door because I just wanted something smaller. My husband has a large truck and it's completely capable for the family. This is nice because I can get it in and out of the small back road areas where I live and the two tracks and just have a lot of fun with her. And this summer we did a lot with her top down and I had a convertible top on top, but because we're preparing for winter, we put the hard shell, the freedom tops back on. Well, I am gonna quit talking. I'm gonna get back in that Jeep and show you some trails. 